Hello there guys, we are playing Kingspray, which is uh, an art program all about graffiti. I'm in my bunker at the minute, I'll show you around, show you how the game works, show you uh, some what I've already painted. I've only painted one thing, and we'll have a little bit of a spray so you can see how the spray comes work. It's very realistic, it's really good. Right, well, let's get in. While I'm doing this, I've got a bit of news for you. In the, in the info section, well this is my bunker, look, this is where I live, and my little retreat. Some specks of dust floating around there. This is me can. Uh, you can change the colours by moving up and down uh, and left and right. If you hold down the grip as you do it, you change the cap to different caps, which is cool. You can also select things on this panel here, and you've got a little phone uh, which you can do various things on as well. Uh, we're going to go to... That'll do. I'll go to the rooftops. Right, in the more info section of this video, there is a link to my mate John, who I talk about quite a lot. He's got a brand new YouTube channel. He's only just started. He's got four subscribers. Two of them are me, one of them are him, uh, and the other one is one of his friends. So subscribe to his channel, uh, watch his stuff, and help him out. What he does is he does Formula One racing on F1 2020, he's in some league with Gavra Racing, and he does iRacing, but he streams it live. He's got a race at eight o'clock tonight, which uh, it will be streaming live on that channel. So click on the link, get over there, and uh, you'll be able to watch his race live on that channel. Or you can watch it on Twitch as well, because it's on Gavra Racing on Twitch. I'll leave links for that. Anyway, this is the rooftop. Some birds flying around. It looks really good, don't it? Doesn't it look good? It looks very real. The environment is bloody awesome. The birds look amazing. So yeah, and the sky as well. And the sun over there that seems to have gone supernova. <laughs> it's a bit bright. You can move around like this. You sort of just teleport around the place by pressing the A button. Uh, we can only paint on that wall over there. You can't paint everything. Like this door here, you can't paint on here. It doesn't do anything. So I'm, I'm really far away from it. You do have a button that enables you to crouch down like this, but you don't have anything that enables you to go up, uh, which is a bit for, there's a ladder there. Can I use that ladder? Can I, can I grab this? Bloody hell, you can use this ladder. I didn't know this, but can I actually go up it? Last time I played this one here, can I go up this ladder? My God. They've put a ladder in the game. I haven't played this for a long time. There's a sodding ladder. That never used to be there. So now we can draw paint all the way up here. Why am I paint working? Come on. Is it because I've got me over there? Right, I reckon that silver thing is the boundary of painting. Let's have a look. Right, I can paint here. Yeah, I can't paint on this. This looks good though, doesn't it? The galvanized steel looks really good. I can't believe that I need a ladder. That's so good. That was one of my big gripes about the game. I was going to moan about it. You just grab it like that. My God, that's good. Can I teleport whilst holding the ladder? I can. I'll put it there. <laughs> so if you ain't played this for a while, like I haven't, then there's a bloody ladder. Right, so, um, what shall I put? Should we go and have a look, look down there? I don't know where I am in my room. I don't know where my boundaries are. Ooh, there's something. Okay, I know where I am now. I'm, I'm approaching a wall in the window, I think. Oh, there you go. Bit of a dead end over there. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Porky Pig, I'm going to paint something on your uh, on your building. I hope you don't mind. Right, there we go. I don't know what to paint. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. My controller box. Oh, it's the can. I'm going to paint. Do you remember Jet Set Willy? And it had that impossible triangle. Uh, I'm going to paint one of them because I used to draw them a lot when I was a kid. I know a way of, of drawing them that's really easy and simple and you will be able to draw them for the rest of your life. And in fact, this works on any shape. You can use it on a square as well or whatever. Uh, so I'll show you the way I used to draw them and that will be educational as well as entertaining. So let's let's pick a colour then. Shall I start off with, I'll start off with black and just do the, uh, the basic outline to begin with. Well, I'll tell you what, first of all, I'll show you how the paint works. So we'll get a nice fat cap on, 100% beef. So if I spray, hey, what colour am I using? I want that one. If I spray on here, really get in. Look at them dribbles. So you can turn that off so it doesn't dribble if you want it, but why would you want to? You wouldn't, would you? You want the dribbles. So yeah, you can do this. You can flare, so you can go like that. I mean, I've got the fat cap on, but if I turn to just, um, uh, oops, wrong button. Pink cap, pink cap, my fat cap, that's what I want. I had the blasty one, didn't I? What was it called? So, not Cyclops, which one? Beef, I had beef, I want fat. So with fat, you can do a flare uh, sort of thing, which is quite useful when you're doing graffiti, stuff like this. 
Um, it, it enables you to fuck, you know what I'm saying. Right, I am now going to clean the wall. In your phone, you can have little templates as well, like cutouts that you hold against the wall and you spray and fill them in. But it's, they might have changed this, but it, it records a video of you doing your painting, and when you play the video back, them little stencils didn't work properly, but they, I mean, they've put a bloody ladder in, so they're bound to have fixed the stencils. Right, I'm gonna change over to um, the black one. There's blacks. There's greens. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right, we'll have, we'll have this black one. And I'll change my cap to uh, a thin one. There we go. And I'll do the triangle thing that I was harping on about and uh, to show you how they work. So, first of all, draw a triangle. An equilateral triangle works quite well for this. And now you just extend every side of your triangle in the same direction. Uh, so, we'll extend that one down there, this one down here, and this one up there. Kind of like the spokes of wheel. I'm doing this really badly, but it will still work. So that's our first step, like that. You now draw parallel lines to your original triangle, starting from them. Like this. You extend the lines and you do it again. So we want the one at the bottom here. So we're going to go down here and along there. You know, out here and all there. It's much easier to do with a pen on a pad, like that. And now you just close them off, and you close them off parallel to the opposite. So we're going to close that one off at the top in an horizontal line like this. You see how that works? And this one here will be parallel to that one, so it goes down there like that. And we'll close that bit off. And then this one's going to be parallel to this, so it's from here like that. So that is how you draw an impossible triangle. And it works with a square as well, you just extend the lines uh, kind of like in a, in a rotating pattern, and then you just keep drawing parallel. So now we'll colour it in. Let's get a nice bright red. I'll do, and we'll change over to um, a fat one. I'll do. Right, so we'll just blank it in in big bright colours like this. I mean, that, that first line, the, the black that I put down, that don't matter, that's just a guide, uh, so I know where to put the colour. Um, I will be doing that line again more neatly, but that tells me where to put this. That's what you do when you paint things. A few really cool things about this game. Number one, you never run out of paint. Number two, you've got all the colours you want. You ain't got to carry a big bag of paint with you. With you. Number three, the, the police don't care. <laughs> they don't... Uh, um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, they, they don't care that you're pa painting things. The Jet Set Willy one was red, green and blue. So we're going to go red, green and blue in honour of Jet Set Willy. Oh, that's a bit of a bright green, isn't it? We're looking a little bit Rubik cubey here. So yeah, support John. I've mentioned him loads of times when I'm doing my various racing as well. He's got an Oculus and all. I went round his house with mine and he bought one immediately. So that's the guy who I'm normally playing table tennis against. But, um, we might have had yellow in the one in Jet Set Willy. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with blue anyway. But uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a, a pretty decent little rig. He's always buying updates and things. He's just bought a new steering wheel. He's got, got three of them now. And um, he's right at the beginning of his stuff on YouTube. I've been telling him for ages to put it on YouTube. Uh, he doesn't talk or anything like that. He just streams his race live on YouTube. So it's quite interesting to watch. I want a decent blue. I want the more of a peacock blue. What we let's get rid of that. What we got on here for blue? Go on, and we'll have that. So um, I've been telling him for ages to get to just to stream it on YouTube because it is interesting to watch. I like, I like watching his races, and uh, he's finally heeded my advice, and he is doing it, which is good. So he's only just started. Uh, <clears throat> his only subscribers are me with two of my accounts, himself and one of his friends. So it'd be pretty cool if we've got some other people. Right, now we've done that, we can fill in the black again. So let's go back to the black. I mean, it don't have to be black, does it? There it is. We'll go back to the uh, thin top. Hey, did I go past it? Which one is it? 
finish this off a little bit neater than the last time. Oh dear. <laughs> there's no undo. There's no delete. It's like real life. You mess it up, you mess it up. You just got to paint over the top. God, I'm having a lot of trouble keeping my arms steady. Looks like I should be holding it like this. I'm really struggling here. Not a very graffiti type looking thing really is it? I couldn't think of anything to paint though and this is the first thing that comes to mind so I should have planned before. I should have thought of something cool to paint for you. Uh, I'll show you my, my uh, previous painting in a sec. We'll go and look at it. We'll do this quickly. Come on. Because otherwise we're going to be here all bloody day. We might get caught. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, we're not doing this in any kind of graffiti type style, we're just doing it like that black colour children's thing. Let's go black wine in here. Oh, smell that paint. <laughs> it's so well done, they've done a bloody brilliant job, they really have. You know, the way the can makes the noise and everything and the dribbles and it's just brilliant, it really is. And there's some nice environments as well. Uh, I think this, this is uh, a lot. I really like this one, this place. I'll just uh, get on a white, well, something like this, just to shave these off a little bit to make it not look quite so bad. I'm so used to drawing stuff on Procreate on the iPad, which has so much flexibility and like undo and, and uh, you, if you draw something, say if you're drawing a face and one eye looks a bit too small compared to the other one, you can just cut it out, make it bigger, paste it back down again. It's like so forgiving, it really is. I mean, if I paint anything in, in uh, normal now, since using that, I, I just like, I make careless mistakes and then I think, oh, I'll do it, I can undo it. And then I think, oh shit, I can't do it, can I? So I just put a load of acrylic paint down and now I've got to wait, uh, let it dry and paint it over the top. I just think I'll try this and if it don't work, I'll undo. I've got so used to the luxury of doing that and I kind of like that this doesn't have an undo. I think that's quite good. I do quite like that. It's a lot more realistic the way it is, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you have a little mask as well. I mean, you can't see it because I can't look at myself, but back in the studio, you can sort of design your, your mask and everything. It is pretty smart. And you can um, you can do a design as well on the paint can. So you go into the bit where you edit the paint can and you, you, you can spray it, and it's like a giant paint can for you to paint in however you want. You can pick up the paint color like that, so I can do that. Right, now we're gonna go over there. There we go. Doesn't that remind you of playing Jet Set Willy in the 1980s? <laughs> it does me. Right, so that is how you draw one of those impossible triangles. So you've learned something, unless you already knew. Now what, I'm gonna go to, um, let me think. Uh, if I change my location setting, no, that's not it. Can I just load something? No saved artwork. Oh, it's because I'm not in the right place. Let's go back to the bunker. And we'll go to the other, a different place. So, solo. Why did I, I don't know how I painted, I think it was in here. I think it was, I think I painted some on this one. Yeah, I think I painted some on this one. So I'll be able to load what I painted on this one and then you'll be able to see what I did before. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I painted this. Hola, don't shoot. So I did the, uh, the eye, the, these in a little bit. Um, metallic as you can see they sort of shine a little bit in the light so I thought yeah they like tears with lots of dribbly paint which is nice but you can see how the wall is very wibbly whoops is very wibbly wobbly so it affects the way the paint goes on it we can go up there this little viewing platform so that's what I painted before <laughs> but I mean look at the area ain't it cool got some birds again 
the, this stuff here, look, it's so cool. Like all the old newspapers in the window and everything. It's so nice, it really is. And I have some crap on the floor down there. And you can, you can go around here. Can I sit on this chair? Basketball. You can only paint on that bit of wall there. You can't, you can't paint around here. Ooh. Doesn't work. So yeah, you're only allowed to paint on that bit. Don't go around this corner. Balls. Good, isn't it? It is good. It's very good. You see, my style is a little bit bright. <laughs> <laughs> I like bright colours. Just block it all in. So there, the idea was, uh, if if someone was just come out of there, where would they come from? So I was thinking, you open the door and it's just like, ah, and there's this person, they go, in, oh, shoot. And they've got their hands up. Like, that's what I was thinking. But there isn't actually a place that someone will have just come out of, is there? There's not a door. So. Anyway, this is, uh, this is King Spray. It's pretty cool. It really is. It's a lot of fun. And uh, if, you've, if you've ever fancied having a bit of a crack at doing this kind of stuff, uh, it is a really nice, obviously safe and legal environment in which you can do it, which is pretty cool, really. Look at that, Spanish and everything. <laughs> Check me out. Right, I will see you guys soon. Take care, have an awesome whatever it is, wherever you are. And please do, oh, the camera's all the way over here. Uh, please do, um, take a moment to check out John's new channel. It would be pretty cool if you get some subscribers. He just does racing. He does Formula One at the moment. He's got none of his eSports on there, but he's bought, I think he's got a his C class at the minute on eSports, his license. A C license, not a C class, a C license. And he's, a, he's at the level where he could, he's about to go up to, to B license, which would be pretty cool. But he's recently bought loads of tracks and loads of cars, but he hasn't got a capture card on his computer and he hasn't got any capture software installed. So at the moment, he's not streaming any of his eSports to, um, to YouTube, but he is, through his PlayStation, streaming his F1 uh, play live. So when he's racing, it's all live. So yeah, tonight, eight o'clock, he will be doing Canada. So I'll be watching. Hopefully some of you lot will be able to join us. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.